Welcome back to the top news channel RF update. If you find my video useful, don't forget to click like and subscribe. Huge tension, Spain cornered the British. It has been revealed that Brexit tensions among British expatriates in Spain have erupted over the country's decision to leave the EU. Some readers think, don't worry give it a few months when Spain realizes nobody's spending any money and their income is down they'll soon change the laws again. Another said, first of all they are immigrants, not expats, secondly, Daphne Valens freely admits she was breaking the rules and sponging off the UK while living in Spain and refused to pay Spanish taxes. As usual the DE takes her side as they can't report facts. Faced with that situation, many people also think, I have to get a three-month visa when I go to Australia, nothing hard in that, if these people want to live in another country they should go through the correct procedure of immigration, whinges. According to one source, in light of the UK's withdrawal from the European Union, travel experts have reported that many British citizens are packing their suitcases and selling their properties in Spain. For the first time, British nationals will only be able to stay in Spain for up to three months without a visa for leisure and business reasons. However, starting in 2022, British citizens will be required to get a visa waiver in order to visit Spain, according to official standards. Visitors from the UK will be able to enter without a visa, but will require an ISHA's waiver they previously. According to many reflections from residents, they said, they blame the Leave voters, very kind of the whilst falling to explain if they had residency in Spain they would have no worries, and would not have to leave Spain, but would have been required to pay Spanish income tax, and a worldwide wealth tax on all their assets including ISA. Don't fall for the sob stories, these people have had their cake and eaten it. Since the leave vote many did nothing as they thought the day would never come when they would be told to leave. One person I know has lived under the radar in Spain for over 20 years. If they love Spain so much why did they not become legal residents, they loved Spain possibly but they loved tax-free living more. How do you think that the Spanish feel about paying taxes when freeloaders who seem to have more do not? On the other hand, Brexit does seem to be weeding out British freeloaders doesn't it? Now they will have to return to the UK having sold up for a pittance and be looked after via benefits paid for by UK taxpayers. But according to recent reflection, many readers said, it seems expats living in Spain before Brexit used the UK medical card for free healthcare and paid very little tax. Now the chickens have come home to roost they have to pay for their health insurance and pay tax like everyone else living in Spain. Seems fair enough to me, but these people are probably the ones who could NT be bothered to learn the language or bother with the paperwork. Along with that, those British expatriates who remains in Spain seem to have fought as well, according to a March story in the Times of London. Removing firms have never been busier, according to the proprietor of an English-language newspaper in southern Spain. People are streaming out in droves. We warn people about the dangers of Brexit, but no one listened. Our lives have been irrevocably altered, she says.